I would have found you. Is that what it is? I don't even remember the line. I would have found you. Yeah, I, um, I mean, I was thinking in one of those takes, I was like, are we about to kiss? Because he got so close. I was like, oh my God, he's going to kiss me. He's going to kiss me. He's going to kiss me. Um, and it didn't happen. And then he like vanished. I mean, even I, he convinced me. So I, I don't even know what the fans were thinking when they saw that. But um, it was int it was intense. My heart was racing when I, we were filming that. It really was. It was getting butterflies. I think we're ready for I don't think that would be a good idea. I mean, but everyone makes very bad decisions on the show constantly, so like that doesn't mean it's not going to happen, but I think that um, a romance between the two of them, I think a romance with Klaus for anyone is a very bad idea, but at the same time, they understand that he's chock full of charm and really handsome, and I'm telling you, I got butterflies <laughs> in that scene, so like I totally get it, I can relate to Cammie. Not a, we don't always make the best choices in who we feel things for as women. Uh, unless you guys totally disagree and you're like, I've made only good choices when, when it comes to men. <laughs> oh, do you ever get like residual feelings when you kind of go into a new scene with um, Joseph going, oh my gosh, the last scene we had, I had the butterflies. Do you get that kind of feeling again when you go into Cameron's role? You know, I mean, I think like when they call action, I... No offense to Joe, but when they call action, it's like it's so much chemistry. Like wow, like when he turns into Klaus, it's like yeah, this is this feels really right, and like I am getting butterflies. And then they call cut, and Joe like tells a silly joke and like talks about video games, and I'm like, oh, it's so weird. Like it just goes away. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. No, but he's like, you know, all these boys, they just turn into brothers really quickly. And so like, you know, having even like that, the sex scene I had with Charles, it just was like, it was like being with an older brother. Notice I say older, because I'm not the older one. Or I'm like, oh, this is so weird. Like we couldn't stop laughing. It just turns really um, like a family very quickly. Are we going to get to see more of her backstory and her family this year? I think so. Yeah, I think that's something that is going to be explored. It's an interesting family. I, w I want to know more about her family too. I mean, I don't think she knows as a character and I don't know. Um, but it seems like there's a long history of uh, being very involved in the supernatural world. And um, yeah, there's a lot of mystery there. Yeah, and I think there's this, you know, there's, there's going to be certain new characters that maybe crop up that history for her. So... Are you able to tease anything else about season three? Well, season three, I can tell you that Cammie is like, she's setting boundaries with the Michelsons, so she's really finding herself. Um, and the Michelsons have their own st stuff to deal with. Um, there's, there's new people that come in, and they're really, um, they're bad. They're like, they make Klaus look like the good guy bad. And, um, and so it, it just, everyone's preoccupied with their own thing sort of thing. But also, you know, as always, Klaus and Cam Cammie always wants to redeem Klaus. That, that she really does, and, and I, I, that doesn't go away. I think she really continues to want to see Klaus and Elijah happy and healthy and the whole family happy and healthy and hope happy and healthy in a stable home. I, 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 she would like to see all that happen, but I think she is making a very clear um, boundary between being a professional. She has her degree now. She is a real therapist. And uh, and being a, a love interest. I think she's saying, no, I'm, I'm, I will help you professionally, but I am not going to be your date anytime soon. What about her interactions with Vincent? We have always enjoyed those, whatever incarnation he was. Definitely, yeah. They they um, sort of team up, and I really like them together too. I think they're really similar, and I think they um, are kind of sort of like the most mature, grounded, stable people in New Orleans. And so I think together they're very powerful um, because they can sort of ground each other and say, like, you know, the last episode when she said when he 
he was saying, you need to get out of here because none of these people are good for you. I'm leaving. I'm giving all my responsibilities to Davina. And she's like, well, you're throwing your responsibilities on a girl who's going to become a tyrant. And like, you have to stay. And so we're both saying, like, you need to do the noble thing. No, you need to do the noble thing. And so it's like, okay, it's just both, like, do the noble thing together. <laughs> so um, it's fun. It's a fun dynamic. Yeah. Well, Yosuke was also telling us about one of the harder things he's had to do is actually catch an actual big heart. He kept dropping it. Oh, oh really? <laughs> he kept dropping the pig heart? Yeah, apparently. Oh, gosh. Well, is there anything, like, you've had tricky things doing on the set of They had to cut out a scene where I um, toss Elijah a shirt because he's, like, all, like, muddy and gross. And so I have to toss him a shirt as we're on our way to the safe. No, the safe house just blew up. So um, we stopped at, like, a convenience store. <laughs> the shirt kept, like, going, and, like, falling to the ground. He's like, Leah, bunch it. I'm like, okay. And, like, I would toss it, and it would be like, over there. And so eventually... They just cut the scene. <laughs> like, okay, well, Leah can't toss a shirt. And tossing a shirt, by the way, is super hard. Like, I was like, hey, Gillies, how about you try tossing this shirt? Because, like, okay, it catches a breeze. It was really windy that day. Like, the second fabric catches breeze, like, it's not going to go forward. In my defense, everyone was teasing me. I'm like, give me a baseball and I'll be fine. But a shirt is different. Put a baseball in the shirt. Put a baseball in the shirt. No one was thinking. Like rubber band. Exactly. No one was using their noggin. Everyone was like, it's windy. I want to go home. I'm cold. Just throw the shirt, Leah. And I couldn't. Very fortunate to work with all, most of the cast. But is there anyone that you haven't worked with yet that you would like to share more screen time with? Who have I not worked with? Um, oh my gosh, I'm trying to think. It seems like you need seems like you managed to find ways to interact with want more screen time with Phoebe. I always think like, why are we not doing like a girls night with Phoebe and Haley, or Phoebe, <laughs> with Cammy and Haley where we just like have a bunch of fun and just like, because that's what Phoebe and I do like on our own time. So like, why can't we just film it and call it work? <laughs> what do you guys like to do together when it's like Um Well, it's actually pretty boring. We just like, you know, chit-chatting really, like literally chit-chatting on our house, on our couch, eating hummus and drinking a glass of wine. Egg Gossiping, like every other girl, it's like not that interesting. Yeah. Interesting, <laughs> do a lot of interesting. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Yeah.